2024 has been a nightmare start for Alpine F1. Once aiming to challenge for championships, the French team now finds itself dead last on the constructors' standings. A disastrous Bahrain Grand Prix exposed a car lacking any pace, but their dismal results are merely the tip of the iceberg. The rot at Alpine runs deep. Resignations by key figures, technical director Matt Harmon and head of Aero Dirk de Beer, point to a team in freefall. Drivers are openly frustrated, and new team boss Bruno Famin has been caught in a blame game, deflecting responsibility onto former team principal Otmar Safnauer, Alan Permany, and even departed engineer Pat Fry. The writing was on the wall. Daniel Ricciardo and Fernando Alonso saw it coming and jumped ship. It now seems painfully clear their exits were justified. Let's take a cold, hard look at the numbers. Practice sessions at Bahrain were a horror show. At FP1, placing at P17 and P18. At FP2, placing at P16 and P18. And at FP3, placing at P18 and P20. It's not just this season. Alpine's decline is a tale of repeated self-sabotage. Cyril Abitaboul fired. F1 legend Alan Prost pushed out. Marcin Budkowski forced to resign. Fernando Alonso and Oscar Piastri mishandled. Otmar Safnauer made the scapegoat. Even Laurent Rossi, deservedly, got the boot. Now, Harmon departs. All this while Gasly and Ocon reportedly angle for Lewis Hamilton's Mercedes seat behind the team's back. Could Alpine truly sink to the status of perennial backmarker? The situation at Alpine F1 is critical. They've lost their drivers, their engineers, and most painfully, their competitiveness. Can this ship be turned around, or are we witnessing the final tragic chapter for a once promising team? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.